All right, guys, back. I took a few week break. Listen, there just was not much going on. This is what I always hated about half hour L is no matter what we did this show, and I didn't hate very many things, there's a couple. We always did the show, so there were certain times, August, September, October, potentially, when there's like not much to talk about, and you know, we still had to pop on and talk about something, so I just took it off. Don't, don't hold that against me. Okay, so last weekend, there was an interesting tweet by Yanni, which led to a bunch of people talking, and then shortly, a couple of days after that, we had Sergio Vega flip his commitment from Cornell to Oklahoma State. Um, so the comment I had to do, and this is very, people are on very, both sides of this, and I'll tell you where I'm at. Um, once a kid is verbal, people think that other people should stop recruiting them. I disagree. I think it's fine to keep recruiting. Now, I, I, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify that, so just listen to the whole thing before you turn this off. Um, so lots of kids now are verbaling like during their junior year. At this point in time, they're probably 16 or 17 years old. They've likely, they've likely done maybe, I don't know, 48 hours in the place at which they're verbaling to, right? I mean, think about that. Think about all the bad decisions you made in your life. Some of you probably chased a girl to some college. You made a decision on your college, on your future, because you were in love with some girl. I mean, come on. Like 16 and 17 year olds do stupid things all the time. Okay, and you're asking them to make a commitment which is going to affect the rest of their life based on a 48 hour trip. I, I just kind of reject this notion, right? And then on top of that, all these college coaches, they use pressure as a tactic. They say, oh, the scholarships will be gone. You need to take this offer. Well, you know, they don't give me time. And then, you know, listen, I know I can tell you guys some hilarious stories of, you know, like, okay, I'll tell you one. And I'm not going to leave all the names out of it, but this college coach is trying to get this athlete's to commit to his college. And the athlete was kind of sputtering and they, just didn't, they were under pressure. They didn't say they were 16 or 17. And then the college coach goes, wait, did you just commit? Did you, you did, that's so awesome, congratulations. The kid didn't commit and the coach said, you congratulated. The kid went to college there for one year because of that. I mean, can, guys, can you imagine this? Once then they announced the kid committed, he didn't know how to uncommit. He went to that college for a whole year just because the college coach did that. I mean, this, this is what, exactly what I'm talking about, right? So when we're expecting these 16 and 17 year olds to make these decisions on the rest of their lives and then say, no, once you verbal somewhere, that's like a promise ring. Like promise rings, are, they're, not, they're not forever, guys. Once you verbal somewhere, that's an indication that you like them and you're probably gonna go there. If I was other coaches, here's what I would do. Situations change, coaches change. David Taylor wasn't the coach at Oklahoma State last year. I would call them every once in a while. Listen, if you're calling them every week, you're a pain in the butt. No, no one wants to hear from you every week. But, you know, like, if I call them up and say, hey, just checking in, seeing how you're doing, seeing if you're still solid in your college commitment, they say, yep, I still love it. Okay, great, have a nice day. And, you know, between, generally, between the time these guys commit and between, between they walk onto campus, it's almost two years. Guys, it's almost two years. So yeah, I might call them every two or three months. Just say, hey man, just checking in. We'd love to have you else for my team. I'm, this is actually my tactic with athletes here at AW. I remember Hawkin Peterson. I ran into him in fifth grade at a Badger dual meet. I said, hey man, I like the way you wrestle. Love to coach you. Door's always open if you ever let me know. And I would see him, you know, once in a while. I, there's no way I'd badger him every time, but you know, I see him once a year. I'd say, hey man, just want to let you know my door is still open. I think I would love to coach you. I think you'd love it. Stop by sometime. And then sure enough, eighth grade comes around. He says, hey man, I wanna come in and check it out. Awesome, door's still open, we'd still love to have you. You know, that's kinda of how I would treat it as a college coach. See, they, they verbal, this is a 16, 17 year old kid verbaling based on 48 hours and you know, a few fun, fun times. And the fact that they can't change their mind, I, I find this to be totally preposterous. So many adults, uh, I mean, well only half of you guys uh, stay married, right? 50% divorce rate, that's a commitment forever. Uh, how many people change jobs? How many normal students leave the college that they initially pick? So many, right? And so now we're, we're holding these 60 or 70 year old kids to some type of unreal standard based on a, a verbal commitment. I, I just don't like it. So if I was David Taylor, I would do exactly what David Taylor did. I would say, hey guys, until a few months ago, I wasn't the coach of Oklahoma State. Would you want to reconsider visiting here? Maybe I could show you something that you would like. Maybe circumstances have changed and I'm gonna be able to offer you something that was not able to be offered last year. 
And listen, if they said no, I'd say, okay, cool. Figured I'd call. Don't want to bug you anymore. Have a good day. Maybe I'll call them again in six months. But I am all for college coaches continuing to call. Now, don't be college coaches. Don't be a pest. Don't call them every week. They don't want to hear from you every week. But you don't call them every three months. Hey, just checking in. Seeing how you're doing. Think you're a great kid. Love to coach you. Let me know if anything changes. So I don't mind it at all. I don't think kid, college coaches should stop recruiting once kids have verbally committed because it is within the rules to continue to talk to them. And I think there's lots of times when 16 or 17 year old kids make not great decisions and may want to reconsider their decision at some point. And so my advice, because I've had this happen with a few of the kids I've coached, they want to honor their word, but sometimes, sometimes situation change, sometimes you should reconsider your decision and see if there's new circumstances that fit you better than the previous.